Alright everyone, welcome back to our Sight Talk Podcast Series 3, Episode 3. Crazy because there are two threes, the Series 3 and the Episode 3. So, what did we talk about last time? Well, we talked about fossils and we talked about the... What is a fossil? A regular an organism. We also talked about the pretty rare occurrence... And also, we talked about fossilization had to start off with a right circular lenses like a quick burial. And also talked about body fossil. I mean, body fossil. This is the part of the organ, the origin, the original organism that been preserved. So it's a bug that got trapped in amber in a type of sticky tree sap. So today we're going to talk about the fossil record, as known as the dinosaur one. We talked about fossil record, but today we're going to talk about it again. And we're going to talk about more facts about the fossil classifications. So this is ge- geologic, geologic. So, all right. So let's read our description for today. So listen for a description, and here we go. How do we know what dinosaurs look like? Or are ape-like ancestors? Well, as we, we show you in this conversation today. So, the answer lies in a fossil record. So, we... Our dynamic duo will teach you the difference between a body fossil, which you might find at a tar pit, and a trace fossil, which might be a sample as a set of footprints. You'll find out how these amazing realistic of the distant past are formed and why they're so rare. You also learn how the forces of time, heat, and pressure can turn trees into coal. And finally, you will see how careful examination of a fossil record can teach you us a great deal about history and our planet. No time for love, Dr. Jones. So... Click the conversation to learn. So, yep. So, no time for love, Dr. Jones. So, it's from like a quote. So, here we go with the conversation. So, please listen carefully. Alright. Here we go. As we talked about the body fossil, sticky tree sap. Over time, the sap hardened and we were left with a little key sick. Body fossils were usually found in places where bacteria, insects, and the other things that cause decay aren't able to thrive. They form when an animal dies in the desert or get frozen in ice or I don't know, but it gets trapped and a tar pit. Body fossils are really rare. Okay, we're gonna talk about trace fossils next. So trace fossils like these footprints right here are most common fossil type. Right here. Trace fossils can include animal tracks, nest, bite marks, even animal poop. Yuck. Other type of fossils form when an animal dies and is immediately covered by earth, mud, or sand. The covering slows the say down to the crawl and eventually turns to solid rock. The hardest parts of an animal stuff like bones, teeth, and shells don't decay for thousands of years. When they finally do, they left a lasting inspiration, I mean, impression in the rock. That's a mold fossil, a hollow print. Sometimes water will bubble up through the earth, filling in mo- 
Fill in A mode with minerals. Over time, the minerals harden into rock, leaving a cast fossil. A cast fossil looks just like the original bone or shell right here. You can see that right here. And there's another one right here. Right, of course, there are also carbon-based fossil fuels. All of the oil, gas, and coal on Earth was born from the remains of fossil plants and animals. Was born from the remains of fossilized plants and animals. For example, way, way back, like 300 million years ago, much of the planet was covered by tropical swamps. When the trees and plants that lived there died, they drifted to the bottom of the swamp. There, they slowly decompose and form a soggy, spongy substance called peat. Eventually, the peat got bur buried under layers of dirt and rock. Heat and pressure took their toll, and after millions of years, the peat turned into coal. So anyway, we can learn a lot from fossils by looking closely at the fossil record. Here comes the fossil record. We can discover when and where lots of different organisms live in a fossil record. In fact, we can learn about the entire history of life on Earth. Ooh, don't forget, the fossil record is just a fancy term of the sum total of what we know about fossils. Then that's the end of the fossil conversation. All right, we're gonna take the quiz about what we learned today about fossils. Here we go. Number one. Which of the following is an example of body fossil? Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is C. If you say C, you're right. Two, which of the following is an example of trace fossil? Again, seven seconds to think. We heard this a lot from the conversation. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is B. Number three, which of the following terms best describe body fossils? Again, seven seconds. We just heard in the conversation. Or on the TikTok, we just remembered. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is rare, and it's A. Four, why are deserts, tar pits, and ice good place to find body fossils? 10 seconds, I think. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is B. In order to form a fossil, an organism must usually quickly after it dies, decompose, go extinct, rot, or be buried. A, B, C, or D. I'll give you seven seconds to think. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is be buried in its D. Six, what can you conclude from the facts that so many fossils involve shells, skeletons, and teeth? So, I will give you 10 seconds to think. A, B, C, or D. Here are the answers.
five, four, three, two, one. The answer is C. Seven. Although a cast fossil looks like an original bone or shell, how is it different? Give you seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is A. Number eight. A mold fossil is more similar to five seconds. Should notice we learned in a conversation. Three, two, one. The answer is A. Nine, what can you infer from the fact that fossil fears are carbon-based? Five seconds again. We just learned in this conversation. Three, two, one. The answer is B. If you say B, you're right. Last one, what two forces can turn into fossil fuels? All right, 10 seconds. Actually, seven seconds because we heard in the conversation. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is temperature and pressure. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this podcast, everyone, for this production of Side Talk. And we will see you guys on the next Side Talk podcast and video.